big story. You too. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought provoking content like this. Click the bell icon button. I'm gonna come out and say it. I'm gonna I'm gonna speak it for you because you've said it. Josh Reynolds. He's easily a number three, number four receiver. He's not. It's not notable. That is incorrect. That is a fallacy. What we thought about Josh Reynolds before was unfair. We need to elevate Josh Reynolds to the number two position. I'm going to tell you why. Josh Reynolds, not only during the Kansas City game, where he had four catches for 80 yards on third downs, in the face of adversity with a great secondary. Trent McDuffie, guys like Sneed, real secondary. Not only can he find holes in the zones, but he's fast. He has rapport with a Jared Goff, quintessential number two receiver. But I'm going to tell you why he has proven he's a number two receiver. Josh Reynolds has been here almost three years. Almost three years. And he has proven every year that his value and his ability on this team should not be questioned. How many times has Josh Reynolds in a game? I can go back to the Cardinals game when we won, when we were one in ten, whatever the whatever the case. He's caught big reception after big reception after big reception. Whether it be on the outside, whether it be on the inside. When Amon Ra is bracketed, double covered unavailable all focused on him who keeps coming up with catches on this team we saw sam laporta yes la perfect as i'm gonna call him amon ross saint saint first down is probably our best receiver jameson williams has a suspension our number two receiver needs to be josh reynolds because it's 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 blatantly obvious every time, every season, and if or so every game or every so often, he just comes up amazing. And I think that his value to the team is has been questioned a lot. I remember questioning it with Raw Detroit why we brought him back in the second year he was here. But he is a safety blanket for golf. He is not only the safety blanket, but he has a he has a rapport. This will be his fifth year with golf in his career. This is obvious that we have to get his man his respect because he comes up big for us. Now, Marvin Jones did a lot for the Detroit fan base, especially uh, 2020. Marvin Jones was amazing at one point. And I'm not going to base his value off one game, but I've been saying Marvin Jones shouldn't be back on his team. And I'm sticking with that. I'm going to die with that. Marvin Jones, whether I sound like a bitter fan or not, Marvin Jones is the oldest receiver in the league, and he's not of the caliber in clutch situations to do what needs to be done. Josh Reynolds is. And if we could have tape show the value of players we'll just watch the tape we won't look at the stats anymore when it comes to Marvin we won't look at the money because he's on a cheap deal we're just going to look at the tape because in clutch situations in this game he did not show up four or five drops and I have a guy that I pay nothing and this guy on third down Third and, and and long can consistently find holes in his own, show up, contend, beat his man, sit down his routes, comes up with four catches for 80 yards. This is what you want out of number two. You want a number two to be dependable, 
You want a number two to be coachable. You want a number two to be valuable to the offense. And you want a number two to be cheap. Let's be honest. He has the yak ability. He has, Reynolds has everything that we find valuable. He has the size. He has the hands, the reliability. I'm I'm missing. I'm missing. Just just him. Come on. I'm missing the point. How is this guy not a number two receiver for us? I think things need to change. The conversation needs to change when it comes to Josh Reynolds in in Twitter in Facebook, in the, the the multiverse of social media, no one values this man. And I have to check myself. So this via this video is really for myself. I don't care if I get one view on it. This guy shows up, goes to work, is reliable, dependable, and serviceable. He needs to be the number two. Every time. And I know he doesn't have the speed of Jamison Williams. I know he doesn't have the 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 cachet of a St. Brown. I know he doesn't have X, Y, and Z. But there are plenty notable receivers. Stallworth. Oh, I'm not gonna use Hall of Famers, my bad. There are notable receivers that were number two receivers that were not limited, that were productive. Had ability and showed they belonged. So I want Detroit to respect this man and see his value because I'm starting to for sure. Without him, we wouldn't have won that game. And that's a fact. We may have a Money Montgomery whose Money Monty is the best running back <laughs> on this team. We may have weapons galore, but we cannot overlook these guys that are. I don't want to say regular, but effective. He's an effective target in the middle of the field, on the outside, and in the red zone. Like, comment, subscribe for more thought-provoking content like this. I just wanted to give my man his flowers. Great game.